remember what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? The suspects in the murder of Clark Atlanta University student Alexis Crawford has pleaded not guilty. Her former roommate, Jordan Jones, and her boyfriend, Baron Brantley, is up to bat for some major years if found guilty. Backstory. Before she died, a few days before she died, Alexis reported a sexual assault against her roommate's boyfriend. That assault included aggravated sodomy. A few days after Alexis files a police report, she finds out that Jordan's boyfriend has been secretly staying in their apartment. So she gets angry. They get into an argument. It progresses into a fight. The boyfriend comes out of the room and chokes Alexis. And it is said that Jordan put a plastic bag over her head and they took her out. After they killed her, they discarded her body at a local park. When the heat got on, Jordan withdrew from school and tried to escape. She tried to get out of town, but they caught her before she made a move put the cuffs on her, and she's been locked up ever since. They uh, denied bail for both of them, rightfully so. Police say they went in and they sprayed luminol inside of the unit, and they saw blood in six different places. Now, this is another cautionary tale. It is very scary to have roommates, whether they're college students or otherwise, because you're going into a situation oftentimes with people you don't even know. And imagine having a roommate who's, whose clock don't really run smoothly and you're trusting that person to respect your space and not just bring anybody into your house where you lay your head. It is very dangerous. I've heard so many stories of people having roommates who were like roommates from hell. Very disrespectful. You got those roommates that come in all hours of the night, uh, maybe you, you're you trying to sleep or you're, you're trying to prepare for a test, trying to get up to go to school the next morning, and here they come uh, making a whole, a whole bunch of noise. Got their friends come in, just no respect at all, just, just come in with all kinds of ruckus. Then you got the nasty ones who don't clean up behind themselves leave dishes in the sink, don't clean the bathroom, stuff all on the floors, just nasty. Then you got the kind who smoke. Maybe you don't smoke. So the house, your space is constantly smelling like smoke. Then you got the kind who drink. Come in stumbling all the time. Then you got the kind that's just loud. I mean, thank God I've never had to go through that. I've heard some horror stories. Oh, and then you got the kind that eat up your food. Then you got the kind that steal. <laughs> you know, um, God bless y'all, man. If y'all got roommates, and I know a lot of you have been through it, who, who went to college and stuff, and I, yeah, God bless y'all, man, because I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. If, if I did, if I had to do it, I'd have some law and order immediately. 
But this is a very sad case, man. This young lady just going about her business, trying to carve out a better life for herself, doing everything the right way for herself. 22 years old, a senior in college. This is it for her. She's on her way out. And they snuff her life out. This girl, her boyfriend is a rapist. And instead of her taking the side of her friend or her roommate, I guess they wasn't really friends, but taking the side of the roommate, taking the side of another woman who's been violated and distancing herself from that dude, she gets closer to him and helps him murder her roommate and then try to cover it up. Man, there are some wicked people out there. And check this out, fam. Jordan Jones' parents had been married for 30 years. They were high school sweethearts. And her dad, I believe, was a pastor. And look how it went. This is proof positive that you can do everything in your power to support your child and they could still not turn out right. There's something very wicked about Jordan Jones. Baron Brantley too. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.